so I'm at Ikea getting things for moving day. I needed um, just a couple of things to be able to get done. I'm getting a mattress. Oh, not a mattress, but like a topper. And I got some bins and stuff. So literally, it's almost time. Moving day is Monday. I literally do everything by myself. I'm so proud of me. But tune in, guys. What's up guys? My name is Lindsay Bryce and I am international entrepreneur, owner and founder of Playhouse Hair, a luxury black beauty bar located in the Berlin, Germany. And I teach entrepreneurs how to secure their visa internationally without being attached to school, job, military, or a man. Good morning. So today is the moving company day. The moving company will be coming to help me get the rest of my stuff. I prepared a lot of stuff for them, so they're just going to come move everything that I haven't. My big furniture to my new apartment, and yeah, summertime. So, the moving company is literally going to take this, and he's going to take this, 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 and this. These are just all the additional things that I bought. I packed up as much as I could. I mean, I packed up everything I was taking. I got these boxes from Ikea, which was perfect for me. I'm going to take these down. I don't know if they should actually take these with them. This is my brother. Um, I'm not taking any of the kitchen stuff as the kitchen stuff did come with the apartment. Literally, these are the only dishes that I'm taking. <laughs> yeah, so... I have a lot more to do. All these suitcases, they will be taking. This bed came with the apartment. I just need to take my um, spread and I'm gonna get new sheets and stuff. So, tune in guys. So, we are here. New place, new beginnings. So welcome to the shop neighborhood. The shop is right here. And then right next to it is an alterations place. And then the St. Laurent restaurant that they gonna get it popping real early because it's only 12 noon and there's so many people showing that there for lunch. What's up guys? So I finally moved in fully and complete and I'm so excited about that because the move was hard but it was smooth at the end of the day. And now when I wake up in my house, I'm so happy that I was able to complete and do this. It was a big accomplishment for me. A pat on my back when I got done, for real, because to move to a whole different apartment in a whole nother country by yourself with no family and literally zero, one to zero friends, you know, and your friends have things to do. It's hard to move all that thing, those things by yourself. And I have a lot of shit. I have accumulated a lot of things since I've been living in Germany. And I can't complain. I can't complain at all. But the move was a little bit difficult. And one, I wanted to break down. I wanted to cry. I wanted to do all these things. But I can honestly say that I am grateful. And it's done. Now, I love my new apartment. It's everything that I've wanted and asked for. And when I wake up there for the last two days, I feel so refreshing. I feel so clean and fresh. It feels like liberating, more vibra high vibrational where I am. So I'm happy about that. And I'll be showing you guys the apartment once I get back. It's Sunday today. I'm at work because my client is loyal to me. So I'm going to show up for her. But yeah, today is a cute Sunday in Germany. It's about... 79 degrees and that is very cute for Europe so as we walk we have Dior right now this is me walking to work every single day we have Louis Vuitton across the street we have Dior right here and as we continue to walk we have Jill Sanders over there we have Rolex over there Valentino here and as you continue to walk with Hermes and Bottega 
So just being able to walk down this street and have so many options is definitely everyday motivation for me. I'm excited to spend money. I love spending money. I love luxury things. So I may have spent most of my money in this neighborhood, but I am a luxury girl in proximity is everything. So I enjoy thoroughly being in this neighborhood. So being in this neighborhood, I work in this neighborhood. I would love to live in this neighborhood, but it's so hard to find housing over here. But cross your fingers because everything happens for me. So this neighborhood is like considered the Kufferson Dam, Koo Dam, Schlottenberg area, which is one of the most expensive neighborhoods in Berlin. And actually the structure of all the buildings being in this housing structure honestly was a little bit different for me and weird because even the hospitals are like this so it was different for me but it grew on me because i love the boutique feel this uh like back in the old days i don't know how to explain it it's unique i love it so today is the last day that i will be unlocking this door of my old apartment It's completely empty, like when I found it. And it's bittersweet. Oh my gosh, we are out of here. Everything I once knew and loved is done. Okay, so we are here with it. I literally have so much stuff. How can one have so much stuff? I don't know how it's possible, but this is my current situation. I got all of this over here with the help of a moving company and the rest by myself. Very discouraging a little bit just because it's like, I am so tired of doing everything alone. But I know that God will bless me and this will all pay off because I am literally staying strong because of, of a brand I believe in and a mission that I'm after. This is my current situation. It's bright in here though, very. What's up guys? So it's Wednesday and I am wrapping up at the salon. I'm done for the day. I'm getting ready to prepare myself to get ready to go. Give me some Starbucks and then I'm going to go to this cafe and sit down and do some work because I got a lot of work to do on the computer. So that's what's on the agenda today. So right now we're gonna go get Starbucks. So today I'm gonna meet my friend Esty. I call her Angel, but her name is Stephanie. And a lot of people call her Esty, so she got a couple of names. Um, I'm gonna meet her at the cafe. Actually, she's gonna meet me here at the salon, and then we're gonna go to the cafe together. It's definitely cold outside in Germany. Almost the end, but we are almost done. So we're on our way to Starbucks, and now it's a beautiful day, actually. I thought it was gonna be cold, so I got my bubble jacket, because don't get it confused. It definitely gets very cold at night, but, um. So fun fact that I am not super a fan of is I do not drive in Germany. I don't drive because I don't have my international license yet because my driver's license is coming from Georgia and it requires me to have taken driver school all over again, which in Germany's version is seven weeks. Seven weeks that I don't have to give to anyone for driving something that I already know how to do. So I've been trying to figure out a way around this, but it has not been successful yet. And driving has not driving has been a hassle to me because literally my life in America versus Germany is like day and night. I don't drive here. I take the train here. I never take the train or the bus ever in my life in Atlanta. So when I came here, it was definitely a culture shock and difference to what my everyday would look like for now. So now that I'm back on my way back to the salon to meet Angel, I'm trying to decide, hmm, what do I want for dinner? 
not cooking tonight because I could, but I would have to go to the store and everything. Although this week was very smooth sailing and I'm super prepared for everything because my VA is handling thing, things. My um, ghostwriter for my wigs are handling things because we have a hair tour coming up this weekend. We're going to Hamburg in Germany. And then uh, right after Hamburg, we're going to Cologne. So we do this the hair tour weekend week. So we're gonna be doing a lot of traveling. And this week has been smooth sailing. It hasn't been stressful at all. I've been on time. I've been getting things done. And that is the type of progress that we like. I'll show you how it looks like. And prepare to get my life together and organized for the next day. And so, say bye. Hi. <laughs> so yeah, we are ending our um, Wednesday off. We're gonna go to the store, and then we are going to go home. <laughs> So it is Thursday and we are one day closer to my hair tour. My hair looks a mess. Trust me, this is how I look during the week because I'm so busy being the boss of everything that my hair is almost like my last priority unless I really have time to get it together. But I also like to keep my hair done because I am a hairstylist. So I want to represent my brand and my work. But today was like... I had one client and I got a lot of other stuff to do so I feel like it's not that deep lazy and I can always wear a hat but right now I am here getting me some lunch at this Vietnamese place and then I'm gonna go to the coffee shop and do some more writing but right now I am finishing my writing series that I'm super super excited about I'm actually getting it started I'm not close to finish it because I'm just now experiencing more and more of what I want to put into my content and so it's like being a creative is just so fun super super important and it adds to my personality so much more than I would have realized but I'm super excited for the opportunity so so this is this is a typical day in Berlin it is cold outside I am walking um, I just finished getting my nails and my toes done now I'm gonna drop off some cards to the salon and then I'm gonna go get a wax after my wax I want to go get a massage and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store and go home and cook and chill I have a chill day it's Friday I'm gonna do some computer work and just get a lot of things done that I didn't get done yesterday I want to plan to film for my upcoming course tomorrow so I need to prepare hair and go live tonight so I'm just gonna grab a couple things from the salon and I'm gonna take you guys with me